to try the Lady M crepe cake because my coworker David said it's good. And um, I heard it was pretty pricey, but it's fine because it's my birthday. Um, but I had my boyfriend drive me there after trying to go to the observatory, which didn't work out. And then there was bad traffic, crazy drivers were angry for no reason. And then we're trying to find parking to go into Lady M. And there was no parking anywhere. So I ran in to order this cake and they gave me the tiniest slice ever. La, 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 la. They gave me this tiny slice and I wanted to say it's my birthday, but my boyfriend wasn't there to say, hey, it's your birth it's her birthday because I wanted the cake slice to be bigger. And I didn't want to sound like weird, so I didn't say anything and they gave me this tiny slice and it was nine dollars and it's super tiny. And we didn't sit in because it would have been 18% gratuity. So I hopped back in the car and now we're trying it here because West LA really sucks. West LA really sucks. This is the matcha green tea crepe cake from Lady M. Oh my god, it's we went to get this it's not great <laughs> so I really like the cake it's not a bad cake but the thing is a Porto's like normal size cake like an 8 inch round or 9 inch round is about like $25 for that entire cake this was $9 so this is like a third of that cake is the price of this very very tiny slice of green tea crepe cake so it's not a bad cake, it's good, but it's just really not worth it for that price because like a Porto's cake is a, as good, maybe a little better than this cake and way cheaper. So um, I don't think I'm going back to Lady M anytime soon, but for now, it's my birthday.